right? Let's talk about the different stages of your cycle and exercises that you can do throughout. For talking about your menstrual cycle, I feel like one of the easiest ways to remember and to not focus so much on numbers, but more in tune with how you feel is to focus on the four stages of your menstrual cycle, like the four seasons in the year. Now, the first season being winter, and that is when you have your period. So when you're bleeding, and this is almost like it's that downtime. It's where in winter, you can imagine you feel like staying in and you feel like being cozy under the blankets. You want to just look after you. You don't really want to do a lot of socializing. You don't really want to get out there. You don't feel so confident in your body as much. This is more a time to tune inwards, to surrender and to let go. And that is really important to honor, particularly when you're looking to conceive and you're really wanting to tune inwards. So this is a time to avoid strenuous workouts. It's really a time for restorative workouts such as the yoga, the gentle flows, the yin yoga, the stretching, anything that helps you to feel good in this time. And rest, prioritizing rest is really important in this time. And then there's spring. So spring is after you've finished bleeding and it's that period before ovulation so pre-ovulation and this is a really nice cleansing time it's a time where often you'll have more clarity and you'll feel fresh you'll feel cleansed after you know you've gone through your menstrual cycle and it's really a good time to do whatever you want to do so if you're feeling like you have a good amount of energy this is a really good time to do whatever workout you want to do and to really embrace that extra energy and that sense of clarity and that cleanseness and then there's summer Summer being that ovulation phase where you're feeling good, you're feeling sexy, you're feeling confident, you've got that energy and you want to do whatever you want to do for yourself. So you can, again, do your exercises that feel good, listen to your body, embrace this extra energy and use it. Do whatever exercise that feels good for you. And of course, this is ovulation. So this is the time that you're really wanting to focus in on conceiving, but making sure that you're not focusing on the numbers and you're not making it all about, okay, we need to make a baby and we need to make it now. This is a time to enjoy that summer love, enjoy the energy and the flow and the romance. So making sure that you're not sticking to numbers looking too much at your days. It's more about just enjoying who you are, being with your partner and enjoying that extra energy and mojo. And then there's the fall or the autumn. And this is that time before your period comes, if your period comes, and it's the time after ovulation. So this is almost that waiting period. This is a time where you actually want to be more gentle with your workouts. You don't want to do a whole lot of compression work. Um, You probably want to avoid lying on your belly and doing a lot of work that's, you know, compressing through that belly and that reproductive area. So just being mindful of the workouts that you're doing in this time and not overdoing it. You don't want to be increasing your internal body temperature up too high in this period. You don't want to be doing a whole lot of tight twists or a whole lot of hard work. So just be mindful that this is a time where you're leading into winter, into that hibernation again, potentially, and just looking after your body and listening, tuning in to your body. And the reason that I talk about it in the seasons is because I do often see women get so fixated on numbers, whether it's how much you weigh, how much calories you're eating, or, you know, the days of your cycle. And if you can get away from so much 
fixation on the numbers, everything will just start to flow a little bit better, reducing the stress and increasing your you know, stimulation of the parasympathetic nervous system. So helping you to stay calm and relaxed throughout these roller coaster ride that it is, this will all help. So just really focus on these seasons to tune in to how your body is feeling. And also it's a great way to realize that you can't stay consistent throughout the entire cycle. You do go with ebbs and flows and there are things that feel better at particular times of your cycle. And it's really important, particularly now as you're trying to conceive, to listen to that rather than to push through. Optimizing your health is key when planning for pregnancy. Access my complete planning for pregnancy program from the privacy of your own home, including fertility yoga, workouts designed to help prepare your body for pregnancy, meditations, and resources that you don't want to miss. Access it all now as part of our online Pregactive studio. Go to pregactive.com to find out more.